Hello YouTube, please excuse the shaky handy cam look to this, but I wanted to give a quick overview and review of the BMR STB110H drag strut tower brace for the 2008 to 2019 Dodge Challengers by BMR. Uh, overall, I do like the looks of it. This is the powder coat black finish. I do like that. I think it blends in very well if there's anybody doing the darker themed accessories in their engine bay. It's also available in the same type of powder coated uh, double finish in red as well. More of a gloss red. Um, again, this is designed for the 2008 to 2019s according to their website. The only things that you do have to do are swap out your six 13 millimeter drag strut tower brace stock bolts with the new ones. I will warn you, as you can see here, I did have some issues with the bolts being slightly soft. I did slightly slop up that one, which I do not like, and I'm gonna to have to go ahead and replace. And as a reminder, make sure you retorque these bolts back down to 27 foot-pounds of torque. Overall, I think it blends in really nicely with the overall engine bay. Doesn't take up too much space and the one thing I do like compared to many of the um, aftermarket and OEM braces there is no need to mount this and drill holes in your existing frame which I was hesitant to do on a brand new car I'm sure it probably would add extra stability but at this stage I'm not exactly doing grand touring events or anything like that so I think I'll be fine with this I was looking more for a aesthetic aftermarket look as well as some slight improvements in the handling so I'm gonna try that out and I'll let you know in the comments how that ended up being uh, overall installation was easy would have taken about 10 minutes total to remove and replace the bolts and put it on except for the fact that when you got when I got this thing even though it looks fairly straight in there when I went to mount the actual drag strut brace the bolts were slightly misaligned. For example, I could get one side on but not the other. It was completely off by about an inch, inch and a half. And they do warn you in the instructions that there is some slight play in those bolts and they can be adjusted, but being a fairly inept mechanic like I am, it ended up taking me probably about 10 minutes longer than it should have. My quick tip for you, unless you want to scratch up your engine bay like I ended up doing and having to do some touch-up paint, is go ahead and kind of get it loosely mounted over on both sides and use the one tool that I think any engine mechanic hates to want to use on a brand new engine. Go ahead and break out your rubber ma mallet and give it some slight taps on both sides as you're getting it in there and it will force that play to align the bolts on both sides. I have a feeling that'll save you at least 10 minutes of sweating and frustration. If you see any water droplets in there, it's from me ending up probably sweating about a pound off trying to get these things to align before I finally came up with that bright idea. A couple, couple quick taps on both sides and it was aligned and ready to go. So again, just a quick video. I wanted to show this thing installed in case there's anybody out there looking at this particular drag strut brace by BMR. It's new to the market for the Challenger. It's been available in some forms for Camaros and Mustangs for quite some time, and I'm glad to see that they finally brought it to uh, the Mopar community. The one thing I will warn, I ordered it from Car ID on August 19th. They claimed they had it in stock. It was actually a pretty reasonable price and very low shipping. However, then I received a notice that said uh, it was out of stock until the end of September. And when I contacted them, they were able to give me a slight discount on the price, so I started to wait it out. And to my surprise, it did end up shipping a couple weeks earlier than the end of the month. This is September 21st, and so I obviously have it in hand. But when I received the box, everything was straight from BMR, so I have a feeling they just ended up drop shipping it via car ID. So if you want to avoid some of the headaches, I'd say just order it straight from the BMR website if you do want to get one. It may cost a little more, but I have a feeling I would have got it about two weeks earlier if I had just tried not to skimp and save a few extra dollars. So again, I excuse the noise in the background. My neighbor's getting his roof replaced, and this is my first video, so I'm hemming and hawing as I go. But again, if you have any questions or anything I can try to explain better, please leave a note in the comments, and thanks again.